you know Bush was going to start the war on St. Patrick's Day? Did you know that? Last year. That's the day he had, this is, this is another proof of how thick he is, right? He had it penciled in his diary, right? He said, war in Iraq, right? March 17th. It's printed in every diary in the world. March 17th, underneath it, St. Patrick's Day. Public holiday in Ireland and anywhere else with alcohol. That's fucking printed, right? He doesn't even see that bit. Here goes March 17th, I think we're gonna bomb Iraq that day. Oh, that's a pretty good day for me. I'm gonna do that in the morning and then I'm gonna go for lunch. That's what, fucking March 17th. Could you, that, that's our day. We've got that booked, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Double booked, fight another day, come on. Could you imagine if we had started the war on St. Patrick's Day? Because they would have done what they did three days later, because that's when it happened. It happened on March 20th. It happened three days later. It was delayed because of bad weather, right? Total fluke. But that's really what bad weather. Smartphones, oh, a bit cloudy. And that's what they did, right? Three days later, it happened on March 20th. Could you have imagined if it had happened on March 17th? Because on March 20th, they went around the world looking for opinion from people. And they went to France and asked people what they thought of the war, and they went, oh, merde. And they went to America, and depending on where they were, they went, whoa! Could you imagine if they had come to this country on March 17th to get an opinion on anything? Come to Dublin on March 17th last year. There's 100,000 people standing on the street painted green going, Yay! How bad would that have looked in the Arab world? There people standing in Yemen going, Bastards, bastards, bastards. Hijack a plane, fly over there immediately. As soon as they build a building about four stories high, it is gone. 